Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and here I'm taking another arms change figure for you guys today. And today I'm going to take a look at the AC-08 Kamara Zangetsu Shin Melon Energy Arms from Kamara Guy. This is the 8th entry in the arms change line, and of course it comes with parts that can be interchangeable with any arms change figure you own. So basically we're taking a look at, at Zangetsu's upgrade form. Basically Zangetsu Shin. So... So, here are the contents. We've got Zenkitsu Shin, the Metal Energy Arms, and the Sonic Arrow. So, yeah, we'll put these to the side and let's take a look at the figure. You can, see some, you can see some big changes here. In this case, being the driver that he wears. So in this case, this is called the Genesis driver, or how the show I pronounce it is Genesis, which I don't get that, but I pronounce it as Genesis, okay? So, and of course, we've got the Molded In Melon Energy Lock Seed. Um... And of course, we got some added black paint on the sides. And of course, the headpiece, which is a bit different. Which, and of course, you can see you got some tubes um, going on the side, which that will make sense. So, and the legs um, are pretty much the same as the one as the original Zangetsu. So, you can see here's a little side, a little comparison with the original, and here's the upgraded look. So. And of course, it still carries the whole samurai um, motif as well. So, and of course, they're drivers. So, yeah. All right, so that's Zangetsu Shin. Of course, articulation is the same. Ball jointed head, arms swing out to the side. They swing all the way around. Bicep swivel, elbow joint, wrist, fingers, legs. Go, up, go forward, they go backward. Waist swivel, thigh swivel, knee joint, ankle joint. There, done. So, yeah. All right, let's bring in the Melon Energy Arms itself. Now, as you can see, um, this is actually a tad bit different. Um, and this is way different from the Melon Arms that came with Zangetsu, the original Zangetsu. Um, now, because of the orange um, parts they've been added, this seems to be based off a cantaloupe. Because, you know, cantaloupe's having an, an orange inside, right? Inside is being, you know, orange, obviously. So, and it's supposed to look like it's been artificially made. Um, much like the um, the energy lock seeds in the Gaim um, lore, they were artificially made by, Yggdrasil, by the Yggdrasil Corporation, if that's the right name. I mean, I got Yggdrasil, but I don't know if it's Corporation or, I don't know, Enterprise, whatever. But, yeah. I mean, it does carry the whole melon texture, or cantaloupe texture, I should say. It does carry that, so. And, of course, there's Zang gets his symbol on there, so, yeah. Next here is the weapon that is shared by the Genesis Riders or the or the riders that use the Genesis Rider, the Sonic Arrow. So yeah, got some nice metallic blue for the um, blade for the blade parts and the tip of the arrow. Got some red. Got some silver here. Well, for the the um, bow part or the strings, you should say. And yeah, so you can tell this is pretty much based off a bladed bow. So. Yeah, and of course here is the lock seed um, slot right there. So, and of course it can do this, which is cool. So, so yeah, that's that. Then we can go ahead and, and merge this thing and put this thing on him. So, just make sure it's all snapped together. Yes. Okay. Now for the trans. Now, now to unpeel this, hold this down, flip it up. And fold this down, fold the back down, and then you're gonna swing this. Pretty much the whole lower the sides of the melon energy arms, swing it forward, and basically um, accordion it in like this, and becomes a side, um, a side shoulder um, armor. And then we can go ahead and put the sonic arrow into the right hand. And there you go. And you have Kamara's and gets you Shin Melon Energy Arms. Pretty cool. Very cool. I mean, I do like I do like the whole asymmetrical um, shoulder thing going on. So basically, it does protect his shoulder, which is you know vital for using the um, well for aiming the sonic arrow. But yeah. Now with the inside helmet part, now obviously with the Sengoku driver, it cuts the lock seat. For for this one, the Genesis driver, it it juices the lock seat. So basically, you know. The Sengoku driver being based off a cutting board, while this one is basically a fruit juicer. So basically, the inside of the helmet is supposed to look like, like, like there's juice in them. 
So it's basically, it's juice from a cantaloupe. So, yeah. So there you go. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Now, getting the, getting him to hold now getting him to hold the sonic arrow with one hand is easy enough, but getting him to look like he's he's about to fire the arrow is a bit tricky. Um, what I think I have to do is I did get one set of fingers ready and make him hold the the sonic arrow in the other hand. I just get again. This is the tricky part. Uh. Uh, again, yeah, it's a little hard to do, but yeah, I can't. I'm not even gonna try. It's a, it's, it's a little hard. But I almost forgot to point this out. Um, this can be stored on his back. I think you have to put the. I think you have to put it the other way. I think. I think. I think it's further down here. I'm trying to think, it's further down here. Okay, here we go. It's right. So it's right below that little peg right there. So there we go. So like that. Okay, so you can store the Sonic Air on his back. Pretty neat, I'll say. And uh, yeah. Now here's a um, a non a non canon example. Basically, here is Connor. This is basically Connor Yugen Melon Energy Arms. Now it is compatible, but the only inaccurate thing is the driver. So. Yeah, that's it. if you don't mind it, then that's okay. Um, so yeah, now even though the Metal Energy Lashi was used by the guy who transforms into Kamen Ryu again, but it doesn't look like this. Okay, so just want to point that out. And he did use that in a few episodes, in a couple of episodes, you know, later on the show. So yeah. Oh, one more details. One more detail I forgot to point out is that remember I mentioned the tubes on the side of his helmet, his face. Well, they actually do connect to the back part of the helmet. So you can see it, it it's perfectly um, aligned with each other. So yeah, see so all the tubing going on there, which is pretty cool. And even connects to the, from the top. Again, very cool, very cool attention to detail right there. So yeah. So overall, the AC0 I would just say the, um, or in this case, the, the Kamen Rider Sengetsu Shin Metal Energy Arms figure is highly recommended if you're a fan of his upgraded form. Um, and of course, the um, transformation theme of that set form. And you want more figures in your arms change collection. Well, I would say your arms change figure collection, I should say. But So yeah, if you, now of course, I bought, and of course, like just like the other arms change figures I own, I got this from Madarake. So if you can get this for a good price, then then go ahead and by all means get it. So, and go ahead, and yes, I do recommend picking this up as well. So next time I'm going to take a look at the AC09 Kamer Kurokage Matsubukuri Arms and Tula Popper set. So thank you for watching. Like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you don't want to turn like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So I'll catch you next time.